Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Council Member Jemani Williams, Chair of the Committee on Housing and Buildings. I apologize for tardiness. Thank you everyone for your patience. I know a lot of people had uh, issues getting here. But since I have the mic, I'm going to vent uh, to the MTA. I know they did a decent job getting the trains running, but providing good information while people are waiting for trains that are not coming would be very, very helpful. <laughs> uh, before we start the preliminary budget hearing, we are going to conduct a vote on proposed intro number 247A. Proposed intro number 247A, sponsored by Councilman Crowley, would increase the penalties by performing electrical work with a required license. We've been joined by Council Member uh, <coughs> Mendez, Rosenthal, Rodenchik, Espinal, Crowley, and Torres. I think I saw Council Member Lander here as well. I'm going to ask Council Member Crowley if she'd like to give an opening statement. Thank you. I thank Chair Williams for bringing proposed intro 247A to a vote. When electrical work is done by unlicensed contractors, both workers and civilians are put at grave risk of either fires or explosions. I believe that stiffer penalties are necessary to effectively deter unlicensed contractors from engaging in this work that could danger New Yorkers. This bill increases the penalties for the performance of unlicensed electrical work in New York City to bring them up to the level that has been established for other licensed construction trades performing work without a license. The maximum criminal penalty will now be a fine of $25,000 and up to one year of imprisonment. The bill also codifies the civil penalty for the first time violation to $4,800. In a city that never sleeps and one that needs to be well lit and connected, it is imperative that electrical work is done by skilled, trained professionals. It is a matter of public safety. And I urge all of my colleagues to vote in support of the bill. Thank you. Thank you, Councilmember Crowley, and thank you for your leadership on this issue. We've seen uh, what has happened when uh, many people do unlicensed work, so I appreciate you uh, putting this bill forward. I'd like to thank my staff for the work they did to assemble this hearing, including Nick Smith, my Deputy Chief of Staff, and Legislative Director, Megan Chen, and Guillermo Portino. Councils to the Committee, Jose Conde, Policy Analyst to the Committee, Sarah Gas Gasolum, and the Committee's Finance, the committee's finance Analyst. With that being said, I'd like to ask the clerk to please call the roll. Committee Clerk Matthew DeStefano, Committee on Housing and Buildings, roll call on intro number 247A. Chair Williams. Vote aye. Rosenthal. With congratulations to Councilmember Crowley, who knocked it out of the ballpark, I vote aye. Mendez. I vote aye. Torres. I vote aye. Espinal. With congratulations to Councilmember Crowley, I vote aye. Grudenchik. I also want to thank my colleague uh, Liz Crowley for this very important piece of legislation, Make New Yorker Safety Safer. Aye. By a vote of six in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, the item has been adopted. Thank you, our colleagues. With that, we're going to leave the uh, vote open for other members to come and have opportunity to vote. Thank you. We're going to take about a few minutes to switch the tapes to start the uh, next hearing. And uh, <laughs> in advance, I'm going to ask indulgence uh, as Additional council members come. I'm going to try to give them an opportunity to vote. Uh, usually that's not as time consuming because we have the one hearing, but we're going to actually have to stop the hearing, put in a new tape, and begin again. So uh, I apologize for that in advance. 